Hello. Tonight, I'm going to tell you a story. A story about Percy, the park keeper. It's called One Snowy Night by Nick Butterworth. Welcome to Percy's Park. Percy is the park keeper. He works long and hard looking after the park and his animal friends who live there. But Percy still likes to find time for fun and games. And of course, in Percy's Park, there is always time for a story. And this story is called One Snowy Night. It's cold in the park in winter, but Percy the park keeper does not mind. He puts on his warm coat and his big scarf and he wears two pairs of woolly socks inside his Wellington boots. Percy likes to be outside in the fresh air. In the middle of the park, there is a little hut. This is where Percy lives. When it gets too cold to be outside, Percy goes into his little hut where it's cosy and warm. The animals who live in the park know Percy's hut very well. Every day, Percy shares his lunch with the animals. One winter's night, it was so cold, it began to snow. Great big snowflakes fell past the window of Percy's hut. Brrr, said Percy. I think I'll need an extra blanket tonight. He made himself some hot cocoa and got ready for bed. Then suddenly, Percy heard a tap, tap, tap sound. There was somebody at the door. Now what can that be at this time of night? He went to the door and he looked out. There. On the step was a squirrel. It looked very cold and miserable. I can't get to sleep, Percy, the squirrel said. My bed is full of snow. Oh dear, said Percy. Never mind, I've got plenty of room for two. The squirrel snuggled down next to Percy and soon began to feel warm. Knock, knock, knock. It was the door again. Now who can that be? Thought Percy. Standing outside were two shivering rabbits. It's... It's freezing said one rabbit. It's, uh, we're, we're, we're f -f frozen, said the other. You poor things, said Percy. Come on in and warm up. The rabbits squeezed into the bed next to Percy and the squirrel. There wasn't much room. Could you face the other way, asked Percy to the squirrel. Your tail is tickling my nose. Knock, knock, knock. Ah, oh dear, said Percy. Now there's someone else at the door. It was a fox. And he looked very cold and very hungry. Can I come in too, he asked. Percy scratched his head and he thought for a minute. Well, if you promise to behave, he said, 
I promise, said the fox. And he squeezed into the bed next to the other animals. Bump, oops, the squirrel fell out. Who did that? The squirrel asked crossly. Knock, knock, knock. Good gracious, said Percy. It's the door again. This time, Percy had quite a surprise. There, on his step, was a badger, two ducks, a hedgehog, and a whole family of mice. And they all wanted a bed for the night. Poor Percy. And poor Percy's bed. The animals pushed and shoved and rolled around in bed. But there was just not enough room for them all. Soon all the bed covers had ended up in a big tight ball. Then, then bump, all the covers rolled right off the bed and everybody fell on the floor. Ah oh dear, ah oh dear, ah oh dear, said Percy. This won't do at all. My bed is just too small. Suddenly, one of the mice pricked up its ears. What's that noise? He squeaked. Everybody listened hard. Now they could all hear it. It was a scratching, scraping sound, and it seemed to be coming from underneath them. There's something moving under the floor, whispered Percy. The animals looked frightened, and the mice started to squeak all at once. Oh dear, oh dear, what can it be? It might be a monster with fierce claws and sharp teeth. The noise grew louder and louder. Then one of the floorboards began to move. <laughs> look how, look how it's coming through the floor. Suddenly there was a loud creak. Help, help, cried the animals and they all ran to hide. But Percy wasn't frightened. He started to chuckle and then he started to <laughs> laugh out loud. A small dark head was sticking up through the floorboards. This is not a monster, said Percy. It's a mole. I'm, s I'm sorry to burst in like this, said the mole. I knocked on the door, but nobody heard me. Percy helped the mole up through the hole in the floor and sat him on a hot water bottle to get warm and put the floorboard back. It's all right, it's all right, he called. You can all come out now. But nobody moved and nobody stirred. Nobody wanted to come out. The squirrel was tucked away in a pocket of Percy's dressing gown. The hedgehog was in his coat. The fox and the rabbit and the badger and the ducks were all safely hidden away. The mice had even squeezed themselves into one of Percy's slippers. Everybody had found a cosy bed. Well, I never, said Percy. Percy yawned and snuggled down in his own bed once again. That's better. Now I've got plenty, plenty, plenty of room, he said, and a little spare for Mr. Mole. Percy's a marvellous, marvellous park keeper.